Hello, hello everyone, and thank you for joining us today for a very special series for All About Atrex. It is called Foot Health Q&A, and I'm Tatiana, and I'm here with Dr. George, our medical consultant. Hi, Dr. George. Hello there, Tatiana. Thank you for having me. Of course, and thank you for joining us. So everyone yeah. at home, today is a very special live. So for the month of April, we are helping to support National Foot Health Awareness Month. So every Friday, you guys can find us here. We'll be talking about many different kinds of foot conditions and ailments and you know how to best go about them. So our first topic is plantar fasciitis. But before we start, Dr. George, can you just give everyone at home, you know, tell them a little bit about yourself and how you and about your research with Atrex? Good. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. And thank you for having me on the show. Uh, let me give you a little bit of background. My name is George Ampat. I'm originally from India. I'm from the south of India, from Kerala. And I did my initial medical schooling in India and then came to UK about 30 years ago for further education. And I've been in uh, UK since then. I currently practice as a consultant orthopedic surgeon in Liverpool. You would have heard of Liverpool Football Club. So that is where uh, in Liverpool, that's where I am. And uh, my main interest, I'm an orthopedic surgeon. So basically, my uh, training was, you know, fixing bones, fractures, uh, treating arthritis of the hip and the feet and the back, disc prolapses. But now I've taken a greater interest in treat, trying to help people without surgical intervention if possible. Because surgery is good, but unfortunately, sometimes surgery can cause problems. So we need to exhaust all the non-surgical methods of trying to treat patients. And that is how in my attempt, in my quest to find out how we could help patients without surgical intervention, that is how I came across Atrex. Because the Atrex orthotics I found was very good for patients feet especially if they are you know foot problems and it was not it was value for money it was not very costly because customized orthotics cost a lot in uk customized orthotics can cost 300 to 400 pounds whereas uh, you know the atrix orthotics is only about 50 to 60 pounds and it is value for money and a lot of people have pain in the feet and this was good and in that uh, venture uh, in that quest slowly i came across atrix and the relationship has uh, you know sort of blossomed during that period we have already done two research projects that was two years ago and currently we are pursuing three research projects on behalf of atrix the three research projects the first one is on runners now running is good and it is where it's a very healthy sport but unfortunately mm -hmm. people who run uh, they are getting injury so we are seeing whether simple intervention of having an orthotic can prevent uh, uh, injuries in running so that is our first research we want to recruit about 106 runners and we are randomizing them into two groups some of them will be running with the atrex orthotics some of them will be running with ordinary trainers and we are seeing the difference between them the second uh, research is on plantar fasciitis again we got about 104 patients involved uh, we are giving half the patients just the atrex orthotic the other half of the patients we are giving the atrex orthotic and the flip and we are seeing the comparison between the two groups whether by using the flip as well as the orthotic whether there is a greater benefit than just using the orthotic and the third is in seniors and you will wonder why seniors require orthotics now in seniors orthotics is very important now one very important thing we all need to understand is medicine has increased life and added life to our years but unfortunately is there life in those years is a big question that we need to ask we may live up to 80 or 90 but if you are disabled it is not you know it is not good it is just a chore it doesn't become enjoyable life one of the things to make life enjoyable is to exercise keep ourselves healthy and to keep ourselves healthy we need to exercise even simple walking but 25% of the population do have pain in their feet and because of their pain in their feet they are not exercising what we have seen is by giving them orthotics their pain decreases by decreasing their pain they are walking better by walking better they are living healthily so that is why the third research is by wearing orthotics are they you know are they making it more comfortable for them to be exercising and also the orthotics will increase uh, balance and that is uh, in uh, uh, that is also important so by giving a greater surface area greater contact area we are able to increase their balance so Thank these, you, are the, these are the three research projects we currently have sorry yeah oh awesome and um 
you know, the next thing we're talking about is plantar fasciitis. So, you know, it, it is a very common foot condition. Dr. George, can you just share with everyone, you know, what is plantar fasciitis, what it feels like, some symptoms, what can help relieve that kind of pain? So what Tatiana said is very true. Plantar fasciitis is very common. Even in the U.S., there are one million doctor visits or physician visits just because wow. of plantar fasciitis. And, uh, and so it is a very common condition where people are experiencing pain in their feet. Now, with what happens in plantar fasciitis, let me show you. Uh, this is the foot, the uh, the bones of the foot. So this is the lower end of the leg, the tibia and the fibula. On the inner side is the tibia. On the outer side is the uh, fibula. And then you have the foot, the center bone here is the talus. The heel bone is a calcaneum. And you have rest of the bones in the front. So these are called the tarsals. And these are the metatarsals in the front and the phalanges here. Now the foot is in the form of an arch and to maintain that arch there is a strong ligament that goes across it and that is the plantar fascia that basically helps in maintaining it's not the only structure that maintains the arch even the bones also help in maintaining that but one of the structures now unfortunately as you walk what you're doing is you're strength strengthening every time you walk you strike the heel you're stretching 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 and when you stretch there is repetitive injury to the plantar fascia in its origin of the heel and there is inflammation there and that is why plantar fasciitis occurs. Now, one of the easiest methods to help with plantar fasciitis is to cradle that foot. If by cradling the foot is by using an orthotic and by mm. doing that orthotic, as we can see in the diagram, you can see that it cradles the foot, decreases the repetitive stress or the repetitive injury at the heel and decreases your pain. So all you need is an orthotic. In addition to the orthotic, you may want to do something more, especially if you have more pain, then you can do some stretch. And I have to admit that Atrex has a very good stretching guide, uh, which uh, you know I'm sure Tatiana will show later. And those stretching guide will all the exercises there. We have vetted all those exercises will help you stretch both the plantar fascia and your calf muscles. So plantar, it is not just the tightness of the plantar fascia, but also the calf muscles that is important. So stretching both of them is important to uh, trying to uh, uh, get relief. And the more you walk, the more you run, the more likely that you will get plantar fasciitis. So now it is, you know, everyone tries to do the 10,000 steps. So obviously plantar fasciitis will increase, but by having orthotics, you can decrease that incidence of plantar fasciitis. It is like if you have a Michelin car tire, you can go the extra mile. Same way by having this orthotic in, you can walk the extra mile. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of people, like, like you were saying, people who are running on their feet all day on hard concrete, they're more prone to get plantar fasciitis. Exactly. People who stand for long or run for, you know, walk for long periods, postmen, policemen, uh, firemen who are standing for long periods, teachers, mm -hmm. nurses in hospitals who stand for long periods. They are the ones who get and runners and running uh, running is a big in a big recreational sport. And unfortunately, runners plantar fascia it is very common because of the pounding of the feet. So just to cradle the foot, make it more cushiony. And that is all. And if you look at it evolutionally, that is why we get this problem. And, uh, uh, you know, it's like we were apes. Millions of years ago, we were apes and then we descended and became humans. When we descended from the trees and came to the ground, we were supposed to walk on soft ground. If we were supposed to walk on hard ground, we would have got hooves. Nature or evolution would have given us hooves, but it didn't give us hooves. It gave us soft ground because we were apes. And because we are on soft ground, we were meant to walk on sand or grass. But unfortunately, as we invented the wheel, the wheel doesn't go on soft ground and only goes on hard surfaces like the tarmac road or even inside the house we tend to you know because we are moving furniture etc we try to make it hard and when you have hard it is not good for our foot and that is why there are problems are developing so if we are walking on sand or on grass the, the problems wouldn't develop technically when you go on a holiday and when you're walking on the beach you realize that you're creating an impression as you're walking now you think you're creating the impression but equally you must understand it is mother earth cradling her every step mm 
So the same way as Mother Earth is cradling your every step in the beach, if we can cradle your every step within your shoe, that is what is important. Then all the majority of the foot problems can be solved. The thing what Atrex does, it recreates the natural environment that the foot should be in within that shoe. And all it recreates nature in your shoe. So you're walking on sand. It's like how you're walking on sand or grass is what you'll be doing when you're walking with this Atrix Orthotic. I love that, Dr. George. You know, we're just recreating nature inside of your pair of shoes. It's awesome. Thank and, you. you know, from, you know, we do have our arch support built into all of our shoes and orthotics. And we're going to get into that later. But right now, we actually have some questions from our viewers that they submitted beforehand. So our first question here is from Sandra C. She says, if my plantar fasciitis is under control now and possibly healed, can it flare back up? In other words, do I have to stay vigilant when shopping for shoes? Well, in many cases, the plantar fasciitis may not come back again and you have relief from the, plant, the, uh, the episode of plantar fasciitis you have had. But you must understand if you have had once plantar fasciitis, you should always be aware that there is a possibility it may recur. But forget plantar fasciitis. What we must realize is, as I was telling you earlier, every person requires an orthotic. It is not only when you have pain that you need an orthotic. It is not when you your tooth is decaying that you need toothpaste and toothbrush. You need to use a toothbrush and toothpaste even when your tooth are not decaying. Same way, if we need to have good foot health, we need to get good miles out of our feet, then obviously we need, you know, a good, you know, uh, support for our feet. Now, the, uh, I have to also say that, you know, a car tire, sorry, I'm bringing up this example. A car tire goes about 25,000 miles in a lifetime. But our feet go 110,000 miles in a lifetime. Our feet go four times around the globe in a lifetime. If that is the case, your car tire, when you change your car tire, you balance your tire, you align your wheel. That is because you have spent maybe $100 on your car tire. Whereas you never align your feet, you never scan your feet. And why? Because, you know, we got it free of cost. But we must realize it is not a free commodity. It is a very valuable commodity and we need to look after it very well. So it is important to scan the feet in the type of scanners that we have and then based on the recommended you know orthotic to wear that orthotic to get that extra mile so just like how your car tire requires care and attention so do your feet just because your feet are free doesn't mean that we can ignore our feet so yes it is important for everyone to wear good shoes and also supportive insoles inside them and especially if you've had a previous episode of plantar fasciitis more relevant that these are worn Great answer, Dr. George. Yeah, so, you know, you do have to still kind of keep in mind the choices that you're making with different shoes. Thank you, Sandra. That was a great question. And our next question is from Gabe R. He says, I have very narrow and flat feet. Are there any foot conditions I should watch out for in my case? My big toe also hurts when I wear certain shoes. Now, shoes should be accommodative. The difficulty is, and especially if we have narrow and flat feet, they need to be accommodative for the shoe. Unfortunately, 95% of the world's shoes are made for the eye, not made for the feet. We need to wear shoes which are made for the feet and comfortable for the feet. So they are not supposed to be pleasing. They may not be very pleasing for the eye. They need to be functional for the feet. And that is what is important. So made for the feet and not for the eye. So yes, it is important that if your big toe hurts, you need to have accommodative footwear which will accommodate that big toe because otherwise you're going to rub on it more and cause more problems. And when we are wearing orthotics, generally you may need a slightly roomier shoe because otherwise your shoe is going to slip out of the your foot, your feet are going to slip out of the shoe. So slightly bigger shoes which will accommodate the orthotic, which will give enough space for your foot to breathe, and that is important. Thank you, Dr. George. And our next question here is from, from Teresa. She says, I have had plantar fasciitis for seven months. I have been to physical therapy and tried different shoes, but the pain always comes back again. Will it ever go away? So 
a, a very good question. Now, 90 to 95 percent of plantar fasciitis will go away. But in some cases, 5 to 10 percent of the plantar fasciitis is recalcitrant. It comes back again and again. So in those cases, it's important that we are not, uh, you know, recreating the plantar fasciitis and trying to take, you know, abortive steps. It is like if I have a tooth Abs, you know, tooth caries or tooth abscess, I need to brush my teeth regularly or maybe more frequently. So same way, similarly, we need to wear shoes that are more accommodative and, in as I said, recreate nature inside the shoe by putting an orthotic in which will support our feet and we can get the greater mileage and make life more comfortable and less painful. Thank you, Dr. George. And our next question is from Edna D., she says, what is the best way to treat a heel spur? Now, the question is, thank, it is again a very valid question, but very important, do we need to treat the heel spur? Now, it is like, you know, the heel spur may not be the cause of your problem. It may be what we call in medicine as an incidental finding. It is possible. If you take 100 people who go to the shopping mall today and you bring them and get an x-ray down to their feet, quite a lot of them will have a heel spur, but all of them are not painful. So what that shows us, heel spur is quite common, but it's not always necessarily painful, or rather heel spur may not be painful at all. Unfortunately, in someone who has pain in the feet, you do an x-ray, and then we can wrongly assume that the heel spur is the cause of the pain, but that may be a wrong assumption. So, and many surgeons do operate on heel spurs, but you need to go to a good foot and ankle surgeon and ask him whether the heel spur is the cause of your pain. They can do some diagnostic tests, even simple local anesthetic injection around the heel spur to see whether your pain disappears. If your pain disappears, then obviously then maybe consider surgical intervention by a proper surgeon. But otherwise, if not, your heel spur may not be the cause of the problem. If you have a heel spur, you have what we know as a heel pain. There are many reasons for heel pain, you know, right from plantar fasciitis to posterior tibial dysfunction to tendoaculitis, tendonitis. There are many causes for heel pain. So one of the easiest and the simplest procedure to get rid of heel pain is to just wear an orthotic. And uh, uh, so be careful that may ensure that your heel spur is the cause or you're not wrongly labeling the heel spur as the cause of your pain. That is the most important advice that I'd like to give you. Great advice. Thank you, Dr. George. The next question is from Sally. She says, I have pain on my left foot occasionally on my arch, but primarily on the back of my heel near the Achilles tendon. It's a searing pain as if I have a blister. Could this be plantar fasciitis? Well, this doesn't look classically of plantar fasciitis, but it's very difficult for me to remotely diagnose plantar fasciitis because if your pain is in the arch, in, the, in plantar fasciitis, the pain is usually in the heel, at the bottom of the heel, and the worst pain is the first step in the morning. So as patients get out of bed, when they put their foot on the floor, that is when it is very painful. So this doesn't look classically, it's not in the area of the heel, it is in the arch. So if you take the foot and divide it into three parts, the part of the back is the heel, the part in the middle is the arch, and the part in the front is the ball of the foot. So here, this one third here is the heel, this is the arch, and this is the ball of the foot where the toes are and the heads of the metatarsals are. Now, if you have pain in the arch, it could be that because you're collapsing, there may be arthritis here, whereas Plantar fasciitis pain is usually in the heel and the pain is the first thing in the morning. Now, if you have pain at the back, yes, you could be having Achilles tendonitis. That is your Achilles tendon is getting inserted here, tendo Achilles, and that may also be having re repetitive injury and that may be causing a problem. The simplest solution is to try an orthotic, but if an orthotic doesn't cause the problem, then maybe you just you need to uh, see a physician and see what could be the best. You know, do we need a clear diagnosis before any right. treatment is done? Yes, a non-interventional treatment like a plant uh, wearing an orthotic is good, and most importantly, if you wear an orthotic, it is only maybe fifty dollars or something like that. But don't have an operation, don't have an injection, because that could be irreversible steps. Right, right. So, you know, the best way to go about it is, of course, see a physician, get diagnosed. But, you know, an orthotic is a great step to try before just jumping way ahead to, you know, a surgery or a shot. Thanks, Dr. George. Our next question is from Ellen A. She says, I am 74 years old and have plantar fasciitis. 
I've been treated by a chiropractor, went to a podiatrist who gave me a boot and got cortisone shots. Nothing has helped. Will it ever go away? A very good question again. And as I said, most of plantar fasciitis is self-limiting, but sometimes it is not. But if it is not, then I don't think these are the, I mean, yes, going to a chiropractor will help, going to a podiatrist will help, but try the orthotics. If the orthotics doesn't help, then the next best is to see a, a foot surgeon and uh, identify why you may have plantar fasciitis or plantar fasciitis which is not going. Cortisone injection is bad because cortisone actually damages our heel pad. What is the heel pad? Let me explain what, collag what is collagen and what cortisone does. Cortisone is steroid. But our building block in our body, in my skin, in my subcutaneous tissue, in my muscle, in my bone, the basic structure that builds our, the cement in our body is the collagen. Unfortunately, cortisone doesn't match with collagen. If you inject collagen, cortisone into a body part, the collagen just melts away. So the, the base of the heel, you have a heel pad which cushions as we step and as we walk, the heel cushion, you know, pads us. Unfortunately, giving a cortisone there thins that heel pad. And then when it thins the heel pad, you're actually going to get increased pain. And there is no way we can recreate that heel pad. Gone, once gone is gone. So it, we got to be very careful about the heel pad. So do not have cortisone shots for plantar fasciitis. It is, it will do you more harm. Yes, try plant, you know, the orthotic. If it doesn't, I think you should meet a physician or a foot and ankle surgeon and find out why you have plantar fasciitis. If it is very bad, you may need a small operation. So currently the operation done is what is known as release of the gastronemius. Gastronemius is a muscle in the calf muscle. So if you have the foot like this, there is a calf muscle that is where it attaches the tendo eccles is the gastronemius and the soleus. And sometimes the gastronemius is a bit tight and releasing part of the gastronemius may get rid of your plantar fasciitis. So that may, and you need to see a, a foot surgeon before you do that. Thank you, Dr. George. Our next question is from Kellyanne. She says, how should I best care for my plantar fasciitis pain when traveling? I have it in both feet and I take students on long trips throughout the year and my feet kill me. No, very, very, very valid point. And uh, the more you are on your feet, more likely that you will develop these uh, potential problems. If you're sitting in an office and uh, doing works uh, on a uh, desk, unlikely to develop plantar fascia. You can still develop, but less likely. However, on the other hand, if you're just like uh, you described here, Kelly, and you're, you're taking students for long trips and throughout the year, your feet are going to hurt you. So it, this is very important that you're using orthotics and important if you can get the or the plantar fasciitis kit, which I'm sure Tatiana will show us in a minute, which contains both the stretch the stretching guide, also the roller, which can locally stretch the plantar fasciitis, and also using both the orthotic during the day and in the evening and early in the morning to have the flips is important. The flips also has arch support. And so, as I told you, the plantar fasciitis, the worst pain is the first thing in the morning. So when you get out of bed, to go to the toilet can become very painful. My patients say it's like they feel as if someone is stabbing on their heels. But by wearing the flips, you're protecting yourself. You can go to the toilet pain-free. Thank you, Dr. George. Great answers. And, you know, everyone at home, thank you so much for submitting all your questions for Dr. George and for all the comments. We don't have time to answer everything, but we will post our responses afterwards on our website. And, you know, before our shoes and orthotics, came our foot scanners. So we actually have an Albert II Pro scanner here. I'm gonna go scan my feet and I'll see you guys over there. So this is our scanner and right here we have four cameras. our pressure relief sensors here. These, this sensor has over 5,000 pressure relief sensors built in to help obtain the pressure under your feet. I'm going to go ahead and stand. And <clears throat> these scanners, you guys can find a scanner near you. They are all over 
next to you. If you go on our website, we have a store locator and it'll tell you the closest one near you. So right now I'm going to begin my scan. And right now it's capturing the width, my inset height, the girth, pressure test, and the cameras and the pressure sensors are all taking information on my specific foot profile. You guys, check this out. Seriously, it's so interesting to know. How do we scan? Oh, we must scan the sensor. All right, let's do this again. Sorry, guys, you're not supposed to move on this. Now it's a little wiggly before, but it's capturing my arch height, my length, width, instep, girth. Again, there's four 3D cameras and there's 5,000 pressure sensors built in. And this is so amazing because there's no way to find out all this information about your feet. So this is my specific foot scan. So if you guys see here, this redness means I have a lot of pressure. You can also send yourself this, but we're not going to do that right now. You can see here, all this redness means I have a lot of pressure on my arches, I'm sorry, and my heels here and the balls of my feet. So, and on the left side of the screen, you can see my arch height, the length, width, instep, arch height, girth, and my shoe size. And this is all taken from our, the 5,000 pressure, pressure sensors built in. And if you click here, orthotics, this is basically recommending the best orthotics for my specific foot was recommended the L2300 premium memory foam orthotics. You can see on the pressure map, all that redness, but underneath, if I were to put these orthotics on, you can see that all the redness goes away and it's more, the pressure is now offset, which is great. You know, you want that. You don't want to have all that pressure in one, in just certain parts of your feet. And if you click here on 3D measurement, this is a 3D scan of my foot. And again, it tells you all about it the instep, the arch height, girth, my specific foot. And if you click here on footwear, um, every scanner that you find is different, you know, depending on where you go, maybe it's a different shoe store and they have their own products here. But this scanner specifically has our Atrix shoes there synced up. So I click here on the Jillian Sport. This is basically telling me that these shoes, they're recommended for me to size nine, my Fit Genius score is a great score. That, that is also a great tool to help you guys find shoes. And yeah, this is our Hour 2 Pro Scanner. You know, it is really the ultimate all-in-one 3D foot scanning solution. And again, you can get this information emailed to you, so you always have it. It'll always help you find the best orthotics or shoes for your feet. I'm going to now head over. Hi guys, thank you. So that was our Albert II Pro Scanner. So with that, we were able to find out about our arch support that helps stabilize and align your body. And we're gonna talk about our products right now. So the first one we have is our plantar fasciitis kit. I have it right here. This is the kit. It comes in men's and in women's sizes. It is $99.95 and valued at $135.95. And right now we're offering free shipping on our website for all shoes and orthotics. So if you open it up, you get a pair of Atrex orthotics, a stretching guide, and underneath here is our pair of our Maui flip of our flips and our foot roller. Here are the flips and the foot roller. I'm gonna go through all the products. And the first one is our orthotics here. So these orthotics come with the kit and the plantar fasciitis kit. There are two important features built in. It is the Atrix arch support here. And the arch support, what this does, it helps stabilize and align your body, and it helps relieve common foot pains like plantar fasciitis, heel pain, and arch pain. This is a very important feature that you can find in all Atrix shoes and orthotics is our arch support. Another amazing feature is the posted heel here. 
So as you can see, it kind of goes up straight forward, just med medial posts. So Dr. George, can you tell everyone at home how important these two features are for plantar fasciitis? Brilliant. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. So if you look at the uh, foot, you can see that it is an arch. And to maintain the arch, you need the arch support, which was uh, Tatiana showed. And then you come to the heel. Unfortunately, what happens, a lot of us pronate, overpronate. That means the foot slips off like this inwards. To prevent that, that is why Tatiana showed about the medial posting. So the first thing that she showed was the arch support, which allows us to recreate the arch. The next thing was the heel. And when you see the medial posting, if you look at the back of the arch, you can see the orthotic. You can see on the outer inner side, there is a bigger thickness rather than on the outer side. So this inner thickness will correct the heel because what tends to happen is the heel tends to tilt this way and that is what we call as overpronation but by giving that extra support you're able to recreate that and again bring it into better biomechanics for us to walk better and the weight bearing through our feet through our going up into our body into our spine is made better aligned and that is what it does so that is why the medial posting is important and that is also why to provide the support to the art the art support is also important thank you dr george so this is a pair that comes with a plantar fasciitis kit. This is a pair of our premium orthotics, and this is how they work. So with the orthotics is you're going to want to take out an insole inside your shoes. For example, these sneakers I have come with this insole. And I, if I compare it to the Atrix ones, you'll see that there is really no, no way this will withstand Atrix arch support. This is so flimsy. There's no support in it at all. You just throw this away. And then with the Atrex ones, we have the arch support. It's made out of high tech and premium materials. So you take out the insole and then you insert your Atrix orthotics and that's it. You're ready to go. They come in men's and in women's sizes. They're very, very easy to use and they go right in. Our orthotics do only come in full sizes only. So keep that in mind. If you are a half size, for example, if you wear an eight and a half, you want to size up to a size nine and then you can trim the orthotic starting at the toe area to help them fit inside your shoes. But before you cut them, just try them inside your shoes. They may fit depending on the style. You're gonna to wanna to size up and this is the orthotics. And then, so again, you wear these when you're not home, you know, you're at work, you're running errands, you're out, you put them in your shoe. And the second step, when you come home and you wanna just relax, you put on your flips here and they have arch support built right here into the footbed. That helps to stabilize and align your body. They have pressure relief technology throughout the footbed. They have a soft toe post here. And I know you guys all at home have felt flip flops, you know, they're flat, this digs into your skin. This is a very soft toe post. So you're not gonna get that kind of pain. They're also water friendly. So you don't have to wear them only inside. You can definitely go outside with them and wear them there. And they have this rubber outsole. So this dual density outsole helps relieve shock absorption in the ball of foot and the heel area. And this guys, it comes in the kit. Everything is $99.95. We have free shipping right now. And the next two tools that work together is our foot roller and the stretching guide. They go hand in hand. So for the foot roller, you're going to want to roll your foot out. You know, you can start at the toes all the way to like the heel. You can focus on your arch, focus on the ball of foot. You can use the foot roller at any pace that you want. You can stand, you can sit. Um, you know, one of the questions we got that I have a lot of, you know, I have pain when I travel. This is a great tool to pack in your suitcase. It's so lightweight. It's not going to add any more weight into your luggage. And you can roll your foot out wherever you are. If you sit at a desk all day, you can roll your feet under your desk. This is really just a great tool and it's really accommodating for anyone's foot. And it goes hand in hand with our stretching guide. And the whole kit comes with the four tools and it is only $99.95. It comes in women's sizes 5 through 11 and 7 through 14. You can see here, people love it. It's such a great kit for everyone. $99.95. And this is it, guys. These are the four tools that you get with our plantar fasciitis kit. You get a pair of flips, 
a pair of premium orthotics, our stretching guide, and the foot roller. Plantar fasciitis kit. I, I, I completely agree with what uh, Tatiana has said. Now, I do give a lot of orthotics. I used to, as Tatiana said, give a size uh, larger in a half size. But now I tend to give a size smaller. And actually, all my patients seems to benefit even if I give a half. So if you're eight and a half, taking an eight is OK. And my patients find it OK. Uh, the flips, which Tatiana said, my patients find it very beneficial early in the morning because they find that, as I explained to you earlier, the first step is like, you know, a dagger sticking into their heels. Having the flips by the side of the bed allows you, because you can't get your shoe, you don't have your orthotics by the side of your bed, but you can have your flips by the side of your bed. So put them on your bed. So it, going to the bathroom becomes a pleasurable journey, not a painful one walking on, you know, daggers. So that is why this is beneficial. And as Tatiana again said, it has a dual density. So you are getting pressure relief where the pressure relief is required most. So, you know, it is very beneficial and I find it extremely useful for my patients. Even patients, so in plant of it is using both in conjunction. The roller, its best place for the roller is underneath your desk. So if at you're working in your desk, you're on your computer for long periods, take your shoe out, take your, you know, footwear out, put the roller and constantly massage it. Because as I told you, the first step in the morning is painful. The next painful moment in plantar fasciitis is after you've sat down for a period of rest and then when you get up. So it is important and try to keep the roller just where the heel is and rub mostly at the heel. You can take the entire distance, but it is a heel which is the most painful. Rubbing mm -hmm. at the heel gives you the maximum benefit. So, you, you know, you see what is best for you. You can either do the whole length or mainly at the heel, as uh, you know, uh, which Tatiana showed us. And it is important. You must understand there is no one solution. And that is why all the four things that Tatiana said is very important. The stretching guide. The stretching guide is a wonderful guide. And it is not, you know, very difficult to do those exercises. Plantar facial, as I said in the beginning, one million hospital, you know, physician visits just because of plantar fasciitis in US, a simple um, thing like this, which costs only $99, as you know, Tatiana said, is we can cure your problem. So you don't need to spend $500 for an injection, $500 for a custom orthotic, which is 99. You can get your pain sorted out and regularly, you know, replacing your orthotics is important. If you are running, I think Tatiana has further orthotics to show us what could yeah. be done for that. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, just to add, we are offering free shipping right now on all of our shoes and orthotics. So definitely check it out. It's for the whole month of April, just to, just to help celebrate National Foot Health Awareness Month. We're offering the free ground shipping. So check that out. And also, if you guys are not part of Atrex Rewards yet, sign up. The more you spend, the more re rewards you get and you can save. Also, we have our email list and our text messages. If you sign up for those, you'll be first to know about exclusive sales, back in stock items, new styles, everything, these fun events that we put on. It's definitely sign up for our emails and text messages. And the next one we're going to show you is our Compete Orthotic. This is the L420 because it is our arch orthotic support. that has a posted heel. And again, so it has the arch support built in. And it helps relieve plantar fasciitis, arch pain, and heel pain. It's going to help prevent your plantar fascia from constantly stretching. And it has the posted heel here that helps prevent your feet from pronating or, you know, kind of turning in. And the Compete are $64.95. They are designed for comfort and they support weight distribution and athletic shoes, walking shoes, hiking boots. So, these are products are great if you're, if you're a hiker, if you're a golfer, if you walk a lot. They're great for, you know, the kind of sports, but also everyday shoes. This is the Compete Orthotic. And they are very comfortable. They come in women's sizes 4 through 13 and men's sizes 6 through 16. And here are some, this is an example of someone wearing them. She put them in her sneakers, enjoying a run. They're $64.95 and they come in sizes for women four through 13 and men sizes six through 16. And the next orthotic we have is our speed orthotics. 
Dr. George is mentioning these. These are great for runners. They are designed for runners that wanna enhance their competitive edge. And these help prevent injury and alleviate discomfort and help relieve fatigue while you're running. So just like the Compete, they have arch support built in. And keep in mind, this arch support is found in all of our shoes and orthotics. And they also have a posted heel here and that helps prevent your foot from rolling in. These are great for runners. They come in women's sizes five through 12 and men's sizes seven through 16, and they are only $64.95. And here's an example of a runner. She's putting them into her sneakers. And the great part about them is they can turn any shoe into the comfort of a Natrix shoe. That is one amazing part of our orthotics is whatever the shoe is, if there's a removable insole, if there's space to put in an insole, you can do it. You can make them as comfy as an Atrix shoe. And I also know a lot of runners, you know, they have their specific shoes that they want to wear and they can still do that. But you can just get them a pair of orthotics and they can just make, add a little more comfort into their shoes. And now we're going to get into our footwear. So if you guys know Atrix, you guys know our Carly sneaker. This is one of our best-selling sneakers, the Carly. They are $119.95. They come in women's sizes 5 through 11. They are so lovely. They are $119.95. And they have arch support built into this removable insole here. So there's arch support that helps relieve the stretching of your plantar fascia. And they also have this amazing feature called our Cobra Orthotic Technology. So this Cobra design helps to cradle your heel and the extra cushioning here helps relieve forefoot pressure. And this is an ultra sky orthotic and it comes inside. And another great thing about our shoes is that if you need a certain different orthotic, you know, maybe you have um, flat feet and you need a posted feature, you can always get any of our orthotics and replace them and put them into our shoes. These are made out of a stretchy knit material. So they're very comfy. They're not so constricting as like leather would be. They're great if you have like top of foot pain maybe or like a bunion. It's just not so much pressure because it's very soft, stretchy knit. There are pull tabs here for easy on and off. There's has adjustable laces that helps you get the perfect fit. And they have a padded heel here for extra comfort. And they have these rubber pods here for durability. So here and by the toe and by the heel here. And that just helps to give you just extra, extra durability as you're walking. And the Carly comes in a lot of different colors, guys. Like you name it, comes in the color. They're great for, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people in the medical field, they have to wear, um, you know, a uniform or scrubs in certain colors. We have white, we have navy, we have black. Here's an example. We have a nurse here. She is wearing the Carly. Then we have just a bunch of friends wearing them together. Those are really cute new colors that we have, the lemon and the peach. And they are only $119.95 and they have so many comfort features built in. And the next shoe, again, if you guys know, Atrex, you guys know, Jillian. We love the Jillian so much. I actually got the wrong one. This is our one of our new colors that we launched. It has arch support built into the footbed here that helps prevent your plantar fascia from stretching. It has a memory foam footbed, so it's very comfy. And another amazing feature about the Jillian that I love, that I think is really cool, it has strategically placed pods here. I'm sorry, strategically placed straps here, and that helps relieve pressure from the bunion area. We actually call this a bunion pocket because it's kind of creating a pocket over your bunion. Very important if you do have bunions. And they also have adjustable straps here to help you get the perfect fit. And I know a lot of people in the summertime, their feet tend to swell up. So this is great because you, you can adjust it. These are the Jillian, they are $124.95. And just like the Carly, they come in so many different colors. They come in sizes five through 11. And look how nice these look. Oh, I love them. Great for a picnic. Great for a walk. They just look so great on and they're very comfy and supportive. And they're really gonna give you that extra, you know, comfort so you can just go the extra mile. And the next style we have 
is our Bondi card. It is $64.95 and it has arch support built in. So Dr. George, do you want to just tell everyone how important arch support is? The, as we were explaining earlier, the art support provides the natural, you know, curvature of the foot because the way the foot is designed, it's, it is, it, that we are, because we are bipedal, we walk only on two feet, unlike many animals which are on four feet. And because we are bipedal or only on two feet, we need an arch support. And unfortunately, when you walk on hard surfaces, that arch is lost or collapsed. Majority of the feet can withstand it, but some feet can't. And that is why the arch support helps to recreate that uh, the, the regular arch that our feet are there and helps it to make it more biomechanically superior and biomechanically as advantage as possible for us to move from A to B. Thank you, Dr. George. It's very important. And the Bondi, along with arch support, they have that pressure relief technology built in. They are also, the Bondi are also slip resistant and they're water friendly. So it's really great too. you know, you can wear these around the house, but they are water resistant and slip resistant, water friendly and slip resistant. So you can definitely wear them outside. They come in women sizes five through 11 and men sizes seven through 14. And they also come in different colors. We have navy, black, charcoal, white. So check out the website. They're $64.95. That is our live today. So we just want to thank you guys for joining us. Again, if you are experiencing, you know, foot pain or discomfort, definitely go see a physician, get it checked out. We hope you guys appreciated all of our, you know, medical information that we've provided. And we definitely want you guys to try Atrix. Go get your foot scan, check out the website. We have free shipping. And Dr. George, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And we'll see you guys next week for a new episode on metatarsalgia. So sure. Bye, guys. See you next week. Thank you. Bye.